Why Animals Can't Resist Touch Screen Technology Whether it's apes, bears or penguins, animals can't enough of touch screens, says Jason G. Goldman, and it's revealing intriguing things about their behavior. Esm, Molly, Quinn, and Emily live together in Austria. Their favorite foods are mushrooms, sweet corn, and strawberries, and their hobbies include playing games on their touch screen tablets. These four gamers, however, are not human, they are red footed tortoises, and they live in the Department of Cognitive Biology at the University of Vienna. Researcher Julia Mulepola and colleagues wanted to see whether the reptiles could learn to complete a spatial cognition test, and to do it they used a computer that could be operated with a touch screen. Half of the time, all the tortoises had to do was touch a blue circle on the right side of the screen with their noses, rather than the left. The other half of the time, they had to choose the left circle, rather than the right one. If they chose the correct circle, then they were treated to a food reward. All four tortoises learned how to use the touch screens during the training phase before the experiment started. But only two of them, Esam and Quinn, actually figured out how to use them to get their snacks. Mula Paula doesn't know why Molly and Emily didn't manage to solve the puzzle, especially since up to this stage they had performed reliably and with levels of success comparable to those of Esam and Quinn. The study says something interesting about the spatial abilities of reptiles, but more importantly it reveals the usefulness of touch screen technology for probing the animal mind. Tortoises aren't the only ones. Kanzi is a male bonobo in his early thirties who lives with other bonobos at the Great Tape Trust in Des Moines, Iowa. He's been trained to communicate with researchers at the trust by tapping an array of 400 lexigrams visual symbols each matched with particular words, on a large touch screen. And psychologist Jennifer Vonk has been using touch screens as a window into the mental abilities of bears for several years. The apes readily took to the brightly lit devices. In particular, they liked interacting with applications that were brightly colored and included sound effects. Perhaps mirroring our own species. The juvenile chimps and orangutans had the most interest in the iPad and used the highest variety of the nine applications made available to them.